Big Brother and how the computer have teamed up. And if you walk into some DC buildings, every misstep you take and every wrong move you make, they'll both be analyzing and watching you. Security cameras link to powerful computers and software. The target, potential terrorists. This gives you the opportunity to put brains behind every single camera you've got and look for suspicious activities. A man distracts a guard while another slips by. The TSA guard misses the person coming in, but the software catches him and marks him with a red arrow. Someone with a bag enters a subway platform. So far, so good. But then he does something that alerts the computer. We're able to detect an individual who leaves a package behind that, uh, that perhaps he uh, may contain a bomb. In a seaport, the computer cycles through multiple cameras and spots and tracks a small boat violating restricted waters. The software can also determine if too many people are crowding near sensitive areas. We're able to tell that the crowd is low, medium, or high. Nine News Now has learned that Ronald Reagan National Airport may be using video analytics as part of its security measures, and so have other key transportation installations in our area. Places where they've got long perimeters, lots of cameras, lots of infrastructure. Among those places? Bolding Air Force Base and the Washington Navy Yard, which may also be using video analytics in their security arsenal. And experts tell us this software is not foolproof. It's only as good as the computers and cameras that are part of the system. Nine News now contacted Ronald Reagan Airport. They refuse to confirm or deny their use of video analytics software. Todd?